Welcome back to your computer science course, Troubleshooting Technology. Let's take a look at this week's vocabulary. Hardware, physical components of a computer or device. Software, programs and applications that run on a computer. Problem solving strategies, methods used to address and fix issues with technology. Your objective this week You'll be able to demonstrate the ability to identify and solve common hardware and software problems using appropriate terminology and strategies. Take a moment to pause the video and review your I can statements. Think about some examples of hardware problems you've ha you have encountered. Today, we're going to learn about troubleshooting technology. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. We all face tech issues from time to time, but with the right knowledge and strategies, we can become tech troubleshooters. All right, detectives, let's dive into a scenario. Imagine you're working on a project and suddenly your computer freezes up, nothing is responding, and you can't even move the mouse cursor. What would you do? Stay calm. Panicking won't help the situation. Try basic fixes first, like pressing the escape key or control alt delete to see if you can close the frozen program. If that doesn't work, you may need to restart your computer by holding down the power button. Once it's back on, check for any error messages or updates that may be causing the issue. If the problem persists, you can try discussing it with a classmate, parent, or teacher to get a fresh perspective. Remember, troubleshooting is all about being patient, trying different strategies, and not being afraid to ask for help. All right, tech troubleshooters, let's go over some more scenarios you might face. Don't worry, I'll guide you through each one step by step. Oh no! Your computer won't, won't turn on at all. Before you panic, let's methodically check a few things. First, make sure the power cable is firmly plugged into the computer and the outlet. Sometimes those connections can come loose. If it's plugged in properly, try a different power outlet just to roll out any issues there. Still no luck? Hmm, it might be a power supply problem. In cases like these, it's probably best to ask an adult or professional for further assistance. Your printer is acting up and not printing things correctly. How frustrating. Let's investigate. Is this a hardware issue like a paper jam or a software problem like outdated drivers? If it's hardware, carefully check for any stuck paper and clear it out. For software, we may need to update the printer drivers or adjust some settings. Oh, and don't forget to check those ink or toner levels. A fresh cart cartridge can work wonders. Why is your internet running so slow today? Let's play detective. First, think about how many devices are connected. The more gadgets using the internet, the slower it can get. Another factor is your distance from the router. If you're far away, try moving closer for a better signal. Still sluggish? Maybe we should restart the router to refresh the connection. If that still doesn't help, it's possible there's an internet outage in your area. Uh-oh, you're getting a warning that your computer is running out of storage space. Let's investigate what's taking up all that room. Open your file explorer and look for any gigantic files or programs you don't need anymore. We can delete those to free up space. You can also clear out temporary files that accumulate over time. If you still need more room, an external hard drive or cloud storage could be a good solution. This is a tough one. Your computer might have a virus or malware. Don't panic, we can handle this. First, make sure you have good security software installed and update it regularly. That's like giving your computer a protective shield. Next, run a full virus scan to locate and remove any threats. Going forward, be cautious about websites you visit and files you download to pre prevent future infections. Always ask an adult first. Your mouse or keyboard isn't responding? How bizarre. Let's start with the easy fixes. 
make sure they're properly connected and that fresh batteries are installed if needed. If that doesn't work, restarting your computer can sometimes reset things. Don't worry, you can still control your computer using the on-screen keyboard or mouse controls if needed. If you still need help, make sure you ask a teacher or adult. Whoa, did someone put a mouse inside your computer? Those are some crazy noises. Seriously though, strange sounds can mean overheating issues or failing hardware. First, make sure the fans are running and clear of any dust buildup from vents. If the noises persist, unfortunately, that might mean a component needs repair or replacement. For cases like that, we may need to call in a professional technician. Remember, troubleshooting is all about being patient, trying different strategies, and not being afraid to ask for help. Let's review the key points from today's troubleshooting lesson. Identify hardware and software problems using accurate terminology. Discuss issues with peers and adults for new perspective. Apply problem-solving strategies to resolve tech problems and explain why certain strategies are suitable for particular issues. Great job, Evit Comet. You're ready to move on to the next activity.